Okay, so I'm just ed now editing this video, and while I was editing this video, uh, the Team of the Year promo just dropped, and I did all of my solos, so yeah, consider this an extra treat, um, yeah, that was pretty sus, awesome. I'm gonna keep it at that, and yeah, I'm just gonna open this pack really quickly, and so you get even a little bit of an extra pack opening in this video, this was only designed to be gameplay, but yeah, here we are now. And I got one choice of either one offensive player, one uh, defensive player, and one special teams player. And I can choose one of them. So, I just want one expensive player because I think what I've heard they're not in the end long show. And we pulled them. I'm a Hawks fan too. Oh my god, that's so that's so nice. But let's get another big one. So that's the quarterback. To Davis White, I'm, I don't know if he's too good. And yeah. But <laughs> that Russell Wilson pull pretty much made my day. Huge Hawks fan thought they got cheated pretty badly by the refs, but yeah, it's whatever. And Corey Littleton. Okay. So I think the choice, excuse me, the choice is obvious. Russell Wilson, there you go. Oh, sorry, just ate. <clears throat> yeah, let's look at his stats. I mean, I'm not going to keep him because I got Michael Vick, and I think Michael Vick is a better quarterback in my not team team at least. But 98 throw on the run, that looks glitchy. Yeah. Thank you very much for uh, stopping by and watching this quick, small little play, uh, pack opening. But let's get into the actual part of the video. Welcome to another video on my channel. Now, before going into the actual gameplay part of the video, I'm very sorry for not uploading the last couple of days. I've been busy g getting back into the rhythm of school and everything. Haven't found the time to upload. But now I'm back and I'm going to bring you something that you're hopefully going to enjoy. Now in this video I'm going to show you an entire game of drama and football. And I'm, and I'm going to explain uh, to you what I did in the most important place of the game. What I did and what I would do going forward. So basically what I new during this game and what I learned from it and what I learned from my mistakes or what I learned from what I should do more of because it worked. Now this video it's not going to be a live commentary because I'm I played it during weekend league and I don't like doing weekend league live commentary because I'm pretty much in a I'm in a bad mood whenever I play weekend league I'm just be I'm just gonna be honest. It's not that much fun to play and I don't want to do something uh, that I'm not enjoying and recording a video on it. So, yeah, weekend league is just kind of like me locked uh, locked in, focusing up like this, not really talking anything. Usually watching some videos, so it wouldn't be entertaining for you guys to watch me. Also, it wouldn't be entertaining for me. So trust me, you don't want to want to see me in a live uh, live commentary with weekend league gameplay. But yeah, with that being said, this is going to be post commentary. I'm going to do just a normal regular post commentary, and then I'm going to jump in. And kind of like break down the most important place of the game for you guys. So you guys can actually take away something from this video. Usually during a live commentary you just have it. Let's say the game is cut down to 8 minutes. And you're just, going, you're just talking over it. You're talking over a bunch of stuff. But you're not really learning anything from that. Because I can, I can only explain so much about uh, any play. So I want to uh, focus on a place that I think are very important and, you, and that you can, uh, guys can learn a lot from. So you actually can improve from watching this video. Now if you're excited, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and let's get into the gameplay. So after this really, really long intro, we finally can get into the game. Now this is one of the, I think this was my, about, around my 15th game of Weekend League and I only had sweaters up, sweaters up until this point. So I wasn't really feeling too good about myself. Or my game actually, and the first thing now before finishing th this thought, the first thing that I recommended to do is I would always, always, always set my audibles and set my uh, subs to put in every player I want, where he want I want him to be. So yeah, that's just all what this uh, portion of the play is all about. And then I want to throw it up to Moss. Moss is a, Moss is a really, really good ability. If you can get one-on-one -on -one coverage, he's catching it every single time. Now, right there, it didn't, and I had to check it down. And we already have the first play breakdown because this next play is, in my opinion, one of the most important plays that I will have all game. So this is the first play that I'm going to talk about more in depth. And even though it's at a pretty early stage in the game, I think that this this is one of the most important plays of the game because this pretty much takes away one of my most important plays on offense. 
just because I'm scared to call it now. The situation is I'm on the left hash mark, it's third and seven. And he's been running a cover two pretty much all the time. And I feel like I got a beat on him. And I know what he's going to do. He's going to run the same cover two. Uh, and my corner route out of corner strike is going to be able to get behind the cloud flat. Now I'm first going to run this play. Or let this play run rather. I see him uh, like coming out in the cover two shell. And I feel like I have to beat her. This is set up. I'm just, I'm, I'm just streaking the middle bunch receiver and dragging the solo receiver. And I expect my corner out to get open. Now, this unfortunately isn't the case. And I'm going to explain to you why in a second. So pretty much the cloud flat zone drops back all the way. And picks it. Now don't worry, it's not going to be a return for a touchdown. But still pretty, pretty horrible. Now let's rewind back to the pre-play where he makes one crucial adjustment. He moves his cornerback in. And he moves him a bit farther up the field so he's not at his usual position he's a, he's like 10 yards away from my receiver which is a pretty pretty good position to be in so what happens then is his cornerback dr uh, drifts all the way back to cover my corner route and I'm on the left hash mark and if the corner route goes to the wide side of the field which is the case right here it should get open it pretty much always gets gets open against a cover two but this little adjustment, I did not know that this adjustment actually beat it. Or actually made the corner route not get open. I didn't expect that. I threw it anyways and, he, and I got a pick. And that pretty much uh, threw me off this play. Because as a Madden player, if a player gets you picked, you're hesitant, to, you're hesitant to call that play. And I was shell-shocked to be honest. Like I wasn't scared or anything. It's a video, it's a video game, but I, whatever. But I was shocked that this uh, actually can be covered by a cover 2 and that basically made me scared of calling that play ever again in this game at least because he for some reason knows how to stop it and I don't want to uh, risk throwing another pick because this is pretty much the only read on the, on the play. Like if I don't throw the corner out it's pretty much there's pretty much nothing open now. Going back to it looking back on it I probably would throw the streak with an inside pass lead like pass lead to this side yeah with an inside pass lead and make sure to get uh, it in front of the safety now however I'm not sure if I would actually do that because the safety seemed like it was in a pretty good position to make a play on it so pretty much the only thing that I can throw on that play is the corner rod and if the, if the corner rod doesn't get open and th then there's no reason for me to call that play so going forward in this game I'm not going to call this pretty much at all I don't think I ever call it once that's how scared I was after this play So after that play didn't go my way, I now have to play some defense. So right there, I'm screaming at him. I felt pretty good about my blitz in, uh, throughout the whole game. I did not think that he could block it. So throughout the whole game, I just kept sending it at him, and then occasionally mi mi mixing in mixing in the uh, coverage. Now right there, I thought that it was really unfortunate that he got into field goal range right there and fumbled it out of bounds. Some plays went his way during this game. Not gonna lie. Uh, but we're gonna have to fight through it right there. This is a very big play because if you want to run this play also broken down in one of my videos, one of my early videos, you have to be really, really disciplined because you have to be willing to check down in order to then hit the cr crossing route as I did there. Now this is one of my deep corner setups. I get pretty close to throwing a pick right here actually, so I snapped the ball. And right there, I got the window that I wanted, it was really close, I knew that I could fit it in, but just a split second later and I think that's a pick, but you know how it goes, when you're almost throwing a pick the next play, you're pretty much guaranteed to get a touchdown, and with the extra point, we're up by 4 points, so that went pretty much as well as we could have hoped it, uh, for it to go, right there, he throws it into coverage, but Moss has, posi Moss, Moss has position on him and he gets the aggressive catch. Once again, I'm kind of running in kind of like a cover two shell right here because he's been killing me with the stick uh, corner rod. So I guarded that right there pretty well, and we get the sack right there. I got a QB spy on the field, but he doesn't even need to roll out. He just fits the corner rod in perfectly right over the cloud flat, and then next play, here goes Bo Jackson, and here go he goes into the end zone. So right here on this next play, I want to take advantage of him being such an aggressive player. And that's one thing that I would recommend to uh, guys to do. Is make sure that you're aggressive against somebody who blitzes a ton of people at you. He's been blitzing seven people at me all game. And now I finally feel like I got him. 
and this is what I did. So I max protected and did a basic uh, slide adjustment to block his splits. Basically, I slid my line to the tight end side and I did the outside blitzing cornerback on the halfback side to make sure both sides are covered. And we're going to roll this play right here. All that I want to do is I want to make sure that I uh, get to the outside right here with my quarterback. Then playmaker my uh, wide receiver up. It depends on what he's doing. I'm basically only reading the user at this point in the play. If the user comes down and crashes on me, then it's an even easier throw for me. Or if he's not coming down, I want to playmaker my guy up and make sure to see if he's covering the playmaker. Because right there he wanted to stick with the wide receiver, but he didn't expect the playmaker uh, to go up the field. So I got an easy touchdown off of that. If he were to stick to the playmaker, there's no point in me forcing it. Like probably... Uh, Tyreek Hill is going to be fast, but I don't want to risk it because many of these uh, safeties are really quick and are really, really fast, so don't want to try them. So basically, the whole entire uh, thing about this play was make sure to get the blitz picked up, which is slide to the tight end side and ID the outside cornerback on the uh, running back side. Then try to roll out and uh, force the user to choose. Either he's going to get a run to the cornerback to prevent me from scrambling, or he's going to cover... Uh, Tyreek Hill, and then I'm of course going to be able to scramble up. Th thankfully, 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 he was really, really dumb and didn't expect the playmaker, which is the reason why I got it over him for the touchdown. So that was really, really crucial for me to get a free touchdown like that. But if he if he would have covered Tyreek Hill, I would have ran with Michael Vick for 10, 15, 20 yards easily anyway. So it really was a good play designed by me, and I just caught him off guard. He didn't expect that. And yeah, thankfully got a touchdown on it. So with 1 minute and 32 seconds left in the second quarter, I'm playing a bit of a bit too aggressive right there. I play some man coverage and he gets me with a quick, quick out route. Then right after that, he hits me with the stretch and he's already pretty much in field goal range. So all that I'm concerned with right now is to try to not give up too much. And as I say that, he's pretty much in field goal range for sure right here. So there's really not much more for me to do other than not give up a touchdown right there. That's some BS, Madden. I mean, like I was there perfectly and I do not get the pick. Right here, after that, you're pretty much always, always, always going to give up a touchdown just because that's how Madden is and he throws it in triple coverage. That's three people he just threw it at. Now, three people he threw it at. None of my players got the pick. Then right here, once again, the same thing. He throws it at my user. That's a horrible read. Two back-to-back no, three back-to-back -back horrible reads and he does not get punished. That's really, really annoying. Now, right here, as you can see, I'm running a bit of a cover six look. That's because he's been killing me with this short corner route. He, however, does not run the corner route, which would have been pretty much a pick if he threw it. And he just throws it up and he, it gets knocked down. That's perfect. Now, right here, I play a bit too aggressive with hard flats and he can just pretty easily... Hit the, uh, the wheel route out of the backfield. Really good play by him, you know, I can't be mad. That was a smart play. Now right here playing some man covers, a uh, really, really ag aggressive man blitz. Which gets him sacked, so he's now in a really, really bad spot. But he gets out of it by throwing a beautiful, beautiful post route. I wanted to lurk the two drag routes and he just threw the post right behind it. Very smart play. Now right here, he's just going to run the ball and get nothing. Because my defense steps up, makes a play, forces him to kick a field goal. And yeah, that's pretty much uh, the perfect position that, position that we want to be in. He cannot stop my offense pretty much. I've gotten two really easy big plays. Right here, I'm just taking it down and we fumble. And we goddamn fumble. Now he picks it up. Thankfully, he doesn't run it back for a touchdown because that would, be, that would have been devastating. But still, that fumble alone was pretty annoying, I gotta say. Right there, he hits me with the man, man beating corner out. Really smart play. And yeah, he's already at the goal line. He's a good player, he's doing uh, whatever he needs to do, and right there he gets in untouched. Not untouched, what I say. He rolls in on uh, with the help of my best safety in the game, in my opinion, if not Sean Taylor. But we hit him with the, uh, with the uh, rerouted drag right behind it. So, I kind of like cheesed him back, you know, he cheesed me with the fumble. And now I cheesed him with the playmaker. Right here at the goal line, running mesh post, and it's just mesh post is such a great play. People run it, run it at the goal line. I also, I broke all of these setups down in the in the ebook ebook video I did on the West Coast offense. Go check it out. But you just out route this whole receiver, 
and the real route gets open against pretty much any coverage, especially against man coverage if no one's manned up on him. Okay, so now I'm at 23, uh, 21. All, all that matters right now is that I not do not give a touchdown. And once again, protecting against this stick play, he rolls out. Right, that was a bit too late. I over overran him twice, and he's pretty much already in field goal range. I think that it's about the 40. Yeah, it's about the 40. It's a really bad start to this drive uh, from my point of view. Right here, he does he ma does, makes a really smart play. He throws it to the slant, which I left to guard the flat route because he threw that the last time. Really smart play by, hi uh, by him. But right there, we blow up the run. So that was a big uh, break because if he gets some yards right there, it's a really easy second and five, you know, so, uh, something along uh, those lines. Right there, it gets popped, and he's got fourth and inches. So that's a momentum play. He, he runs mesh, and just nothing happens. Nothing happens. Uh, he catches the ball. It's a first down. However, we can sniff out his, uh, his offense from here. He's going to kick his field goal, and then we're going to get into the play of the game, the most important one so far. Do not get me wrong, all of the plays are important, you can throw a pick on any play, so you need to be focused on really, really any play. When you're passing the ball, it's really risky, but this play especially was very, very risky. And we're just going to roll this here for you, just for, so you can see how tight of a window this was. And then I'm going to talk about kind of like what I did, so let's watch it right here. Pretty much Mike Levick is taking a snap. He's rolling out to the right, trying to buy some time to get the post open. And yeah, it's just a really, really simple throw. Now, what happened here? Uh, let's just look at it. So, I make all of the hot routes for a cover three beater. That's a cover three beater. And the post route should get open, wide open against anything that has a uh, like cover three zone on the left cornerback. This is what happens. And all there is to it is I want to slide the line to the left to tell my running back to go block anybody that's coming from the left. To enable me to uh, run outside of the pocket. So, just right before I snap this ball right here, which I do right now. Um, I, get, I try to get away from the slow defensive end. And then right before I throw the ball, I let go of R2 or RT at on Xbox. This is really crucial because Mike Levick, if he has roaming dead eye, is it's like dashing dead eye. But you can't sprint all the way through, uh, all the way uh, through throwing the ball. Right before you throw the ball, let go of R2, and you'll get a perfect pass even without dashing that ass. So it's really glitchy. You can say that it's not only glitchy, that it's a glitch, because glitchy in terms of uh, the man dictionary means it's really, like, it's really good. It's... Yeah, but that's just kind of just the chess match. Just try to be one uh, step ahead of your opponent. You probably didn't think that I had a cover three beater on deck that I hadn't shown him yet. But I had one. <laughs> it's the post uh, from deep corner. Really good play. All, all of the plays that I ran in this video are showcased in my uh, offensive ebook. It's this video right here. Yeah. Really good video. Go make, go make sure to check it out. All the defense. I also did a video on the blitz that I ran during this video also up there. But, yeah, it's, I got a touchdown. I'm up uh, three points or one point. I don't remember if I got the two-point conversion. But, yeah, this, this game is not over. He's got a pretty good offense, so I'll need to hold him here. So, you guys saw that. It was kind of like a big deal. It was a really, really important play. Right there, I don't get the two-point conversion. But the touchdown itself was the most important part of this uh, whole drive now. I just now got to be focused on not giving up a touchdown. A touchdown is pretty much all I'm worried about. He's probably not going to get into field goal range because I'm re playing really aggressive defense. Now right there he got a lot of yards, which was unideal. But I'm playing really ag aggressively just to force him into making a mistake. I don't want to give him uh, an easy path to field goal range. He's going to make a lot of quick reads. Now right there, as I say that, I'm dropping back in coverage. There's only five seconds left in the game. So all that I need to do is not get bombed, which I almost do. He almost uh, outruns me with Tyreek Hill, but yeah, he doesn't. So that's the end of the game. This video has taken me quite some time to edit, so if you would 
um, if you if you stuck if you stuck until this part, I would greatly appreciate it if you rewarded me with a like and also a subscription would be perfect. If you like more uh, of those kinds of videos, I'm going to be bringing some of those videos your way in the next uh, couple of days. Make sure to stay tuned for that. Don't forget if you subscribe that you hit the notification bell, so you get notified whenever I am uploading a video to YouTube.com. Thank you very much for watching. I will hopefully see you in the next one. This was a lot of fun editing and recording as well. Recording those videos is always fun when you win. So I won. So it was fun. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out. And also shoutouts to all my Austrian fans.